Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, here today to discuss transparency in SOLIDWORKS and show you how you can remove the transparency from all the faces of your model in just a couple clicks. Now, transparency settings are very valuable in SOLIDWORKS. They help you clarify the inner details of a design and give you access to areas that you wouldn't normally be able to see. But occasionally, transparency can become sort of a problem, and that's especially true when you've applied transparency to individual faces. Now, if you've added transparency to, say, a feature or a body in SOLIDWORKS, those are going to be fairly obvious. If you open up the display pane in the Feature Manager design tree, the fourth column represents transparency. And you can see here for that for my Sweep 2 feature, I have transparency associated with the entire feature. And if I turn this off, those faces once again become opaque. Now that's pretty easy to deal with. The first thing that I like to do when dealing with transparency is make sure that my features or my solid bodies, make sure to check the solid bodies folder as well, uh, that they don't have transparency tied to them. Everything else that still remains transparent is likely being controlled by the transparency of the face. And when you make a face transparent, usually by right clicking on it and choosing change transparency from the shortcut menu, what it actually does is apply transparency to a new face selection that gets added to the appearance. So you can see here if I open up my white high gloss plastic here, which is actually blue, and I edit this, all of those faces that I had hidden are now listed here, and before they weren't. So if you only have a couple faces that you need to remove transparency from, and you're having difficulty accessing them, which tends to be the case when you have a lot of transparent faces, you can access the transparency, find the face that you want to turn off transparency for, and just clear it out. So you can delete all of these, but if you use lots of appearances, this can be very difficult to do. So I want to show another clever way that I discovered to remove all the transparency all at once. Now you might be thinking, well, why don't we just use select all? From the selections drop down or by using control A on the keyboard, I can choose select all, but that's actually selecting more than just faces. So what you'll find is if I right click, I can change transparency, but it reduces my selection to just that one face. So the way that we can accomplish this is actually by using selection filters. Uh, these force your selections to only one particular type of geometry, and you can access these by going to View, then Toolbars, and then down near the bottom you'll see Selection Filter. And it'll open up a new toolbar at the bottom of the screen, and you'll see this icon right here will allow you to filter faces. The hotkey for that is also X, if you prefer. Once I turn this on, I can use Select All once again, this time with just a Control A, this time it's selecting only the faces. And because of this, I can now right click. I don't lose my selection, so I can choose change transparency once again. And once I click off, you'll find that everything is transparent. I can repeat these steps one more time. Once again, choosing select all and right clicking. We'll choose change transparency once again. And now all the faces are opaque. And if we were to go look at this appearance, for example, you'll see that all the face selections have been, uh, they're still there, but their transparency value has actually been uh, reduced. So rather than uh, 0.75 for transparency, it's actually um, back to opaque. So they'll still exist there. Your face appearances aren't disturbed. None of your other appearances are removed. Uh, and you've got your transparency removed from all of those faces. Just make sure that you turn off the face selection filter once you're done, and we can close this up with F5, which is the keyboard shortcut for showing those selection filters. So that's really all there is to it. Any appearances are going to remain intact. Uh, all of your face level transparency should now be removed. Uh, yeah, so yeah, pretty easy workflow. If you have any other tips or tricks for dealing with transparency in your models, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.